Hollywood Breakthrough. And today we have our first YouTube sensation. We have Rick Sylvester Jr., A.K. Big Cat Trucker. You can catch him on YouTube, but definitely on the TravelChannel.com. That's where I found him, his web series, Off-Road Trippin'. And before I interview with Big Cat Trucker, let's check out the TravelChannel.com web series, Off-Road Trippin'. Feel free to listen to the audio or go to my website at HollywoodBreakthrough.com. Look at the video. It's your boy, Big Cat Man. Everybody turn up. And your girl, Marianella. Oh, Sweet man. and spicy, that's like me. And we about to put it down in Texas, baby. Texas style. Let's do this. Hi, this is Danielle with Hollywood Breakthrough. And today we have an amazing guest. We have our first, basically, internet sensation, a reality show, Ricky L. Sylvester, a.k. Big Cat Trucker. Big Cat, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Great. I am so glad you're on the show. Yeah. Your show on YouTube is hilarious. You had a couple shows. Basically, when I first kind of ran across you was with the off-road tripping in Texas. That was my first kind of taste of you a little bit there. Tell me mm-hmm. a little bit more about all your shows and what, you, what are you doing? Um, well, right now, I, I, started, uh, I started on the internet. I started on YouTube. Uh, I started putting out videos of me getting into the career of trucking, trying to change my career a little bit and trying to do a little something different. And, uh, you know, I've always been, you know, web savvy type guy, always been, you know, like, you know, really interested in, 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 you know, creating content and stuff like that. So, you know, I came up with this genius idea to just kind of just, you know, kind of put videos of me going through the whole process of starting a new career and then trucking, you know, and from my last job and, going into, you know, going to school and getting my license, CDL and all that, you know, good stuff. So, and I just, I just did it from day one. You know, I just, I looked online like pretty much everybody else did, you know, when they want to start something new to try to get a little, you know, to kind of get their feet with a little bit or a little bit of knowledge of what they're going to be stepping into. And, uh, you know, and I found some things, but I really didn't find what I was looking for as far as like, you know, hey, you know, this guy, a guy that's never, Drove a driven truck or been in the truck stop or don't even know, you know, don't even know anything about it, you know. So I did, you know, I came up with my own idea to just kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to take a, a camera phone. I'm just going to video everything that happens in school and, 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 you know, when I, you know, once I start working and driving and stuff like that, and to make a long story short, I started to put out videos constantly on YouTube and, you know, they just, they just hit off. They just, they just really hit off. Uh, it started with, you know, there's a lot of people from the trucking industry around the world, you know, at my company that I was working with. And then, it, you know, it started to get more home based family, friends and, you know, and uh, and it just kind of just spread, you know, just spread. And then it got to uh, make another long story short, it got it got to my corporate office. And then they kind of like started to watch my videos and say, oh, OK, this guy is working with us and he's putting out positive content about our company. Maybe we should look into this, you know? So uh, they did that. They definitely did that. And they, you know, make another long story short. <laughs> they, they made me uh, the spokesperson for the company. You know, they, oh, wow. they gave me a, a, cu- a custom truck with my name on it and <laughs> basically kind of, you know, basically kind of supported my YouTube show that I was doing at the time on, on YouTube. But, you know, to, to speed up a little bit forward, uh, how I got into television and, and, and doing more things on the Internet was basically, you know, I know this might sound cliche. I was just at the right place at the right time, you know, right timing with my videos. You know, someone, I guess, just happened to be on YouTube looking for talent for a particular show that was involved in truck with truckers. And, uh, and they came across one of my videos. This was a, an executive producer from Discovery, the okay. Discovery Channel. And uh, they reached out to me through email. And I, you know, to be quite honest with you, I didn't believe that it was real. You know, <laughs> it, took me a, it took me a while. Uh, when I got the email, it was, you know, one of my email accounts that I really didn't check a lot. So once I got it, I was like, oh, wow, this, this email has been here for like three weeks, you know. So I looked, I read it, and I was like, oh, whatever, you know. I don't believe this. I... I guess two days, I, you know, I kind of slept on it. Then I actually called, oh, I, I returned the email and then they called. And then, you know, we talked, you know, a bunch. And I actually recorded the conversation too. 
and it turns out that, that they were for real, you know, and I was, I was still a little bit skeptical and all this good stuff, but you know, they, they did pretty much everything in their power to convince me that this was real. So they flew out to where I was. I keep in mind, I'm a truck driver. So right. at, the, they, at the time, how they fly out to where you are because you're like on the road all the time. Yeah. I'm on like, right now I'm actually on the road doing this interview with you. And, uh, you know, so they were they were willing to meet me in a state or a city where I was going to be at, and you know, and and kind of you know go out to dinner and just kind of talk about the show and and you know and the reason why they picked me and stuff like that. So basically, you know, and 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 back then, you know, I'm gonna go back to this a little bit. You know, YouTube was not as popular as it is now. You know, 2015. Right. right. You know, YouTube was just getting its feet wet. You know, there was a couple. That's when YouTube was starting to recognize uh, quote unquote internet sensations or YouTube stars, but they wasn't really getting paid, you know, like they're getting paid now. Right. So, you know, so I kind of, I kind of you know, got into YouTube at a, at a great time when people were really starting to, like it was really popular to go to YouTube to find talent, you know, or find, you know, someone to be a part of a, a content or whatever. So the reason why I'm saying that is because nowadays you got to have, so many views or so many followers, you got to have a million views, you got to have so many subscribers to even get the reckon, you know, to even get recognized or even somebody even want to put you on television or work with you or just even look your way, you know? Right. But, uh, but that's why I said I was, you know, I was at the right place at the right time. I really didn't have to get to that level on the internet where I was getting millions and millions of views. You know, I think when I got discovered, I only had about maybe, maybe 2000 subscribers and I was only getting maybe maybe a thousand or 3000 views, uh, uh, you know, uh, a video, you know, at okay. the time. Okay. And so I like to tell people that because I know a lot of people, you know, they, they want to get on YouTube and they want to get discovered right away and they get frustrated that they don't get, you know, the millions of views right away. You know, sometimes it, it, it really doesn't have to, has anything to do with the views. It's just your content. It's just you, your personality, what you're putting out there for people to see. And you never know. You just could get that lucky person you know, they just come around and see you and they're like, you know what? We want to put you in a movie. We want to put you in a TV show. So that's basically that's how important. it. Important. That's the, what'd you say that, again about content. Content is very important. So you kind of had that idea before you even got discovered that you want to put out positive content about mm -hmm. what you do. So that was a huge thing that kind of got you. You felt that that really pushed you over. I think was the content, the information you're putting out there. You know what? I think it was it was positivity had a lot to do with it, but I, I think it had also a lot to do with my personality because I kind of did it different. You know, a lot of, a lot of the people that I was seeing that were putting out content about trucking on on the internet at that time, you know, it was kind of with a different little spin. You know, some of it to me personally was probably boring or not too entertaining, but very informational. So I kind of wanted to take it to a, a you know a different approach and be a lot more entertaining, so I can get people to actually watch the video. You know. And um, and that's what obviously was right up my alley to be a little bit more funny, be a little bit more outspoken and have a lot more energy and stuff like that. So I guess that's that's what really got me into the position that I, where I'm at now, because, you know, that's that's what I hear from a lot of producers and directors and, you know, people It's like, you know, it's, it's all about your personality. So I definitely would encourage people that want to, you know, put out their content. It's just to make sure it's entertaining. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be anything special. It can be whatever you love to do. It just has to be entertaining, you know. So, um, and I know I'm saying a lot, but I just, I want to get everything in as much as I can. <laughs> no, no, so, uh, that's perfect. Because it, you were yeah. on the Discovery Channel. You also were in the past the Cooking Channel. And now you're on the Travel Channel online. So these are things that kind of help you kind of got pushed out there, not just on YouTube, but also on network sites as well. Right, exactly. And I'm, I'm still new in the game. I've only been doing it for three years now. And, I, you know, I've just been blessed to have, a, you know, opportunities to, to work with some, some great people and big network. And, and not only that, you know, I love the Internet. That's basically where I was born from, from the Internet, you know. Then once I started doing TV, it's, it's kind of a different ball game, but, but it's a bigger audience, you know. So, you know, and I just want to say this too, when I, when I did discovery, we did a, we did a 15 episode show that actually didn't, it never saw, it never aired. It got canceled. Like at the last, like right before they were going to put it on air or make the decision or whatever. And I think what happened was they had a regime change at the network at the time. And a lot of people were getting shifted around. So, you know, our show kind of just got pushed in the back, in the back corner. 
but it was a great experience. It was like three months of on the road filming, you know, an actual TV show. You know, it was it was crazy. But that was like my my debut or my you know my first you know time and me walking into the internet or quote unquote entertainment world or television world. So from there, really quick, how I got to Travel Channel, one of the the producers that was at Discovery somehow ended up at Travel Channel, and he started. You know, he, he he really, you know, enjoyed working with me, but, you know, he really wanted to, to to develop something to get it out to the public so the people can see like, hey, this guy's great. He's funny. You know, the world needs to see this guy, you know, and he basically went over to Travel Channel and introduced me to everybody over there. And that's how I kind of started the relationship with Travel Channel. And uh, And they had some really interesting things to say. They wanted to really, you know, put me in a place where I was strong, which was the Internet. And at that time, well, as you see now, you know, a lot of networks are really, really building on their digital content because, that's you know, Netflix and Hulu, all these companies are doing great when it comes to digital TV. Right. You know, so a lot of a lot of networks are going that 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 area now. So it was it was a blessing for me to to like step from YouTube and go to a, an actual cable network and do content for their digital programming. So that was awesome. And I'm still doing it. I'm, I'm, also, I'm still doing content for them. I'm, so that's basically how I how I got transitioned over there. And then, you know, obviously from there, you know, more people watch, more people see. I continue to do videos on YouTube. And uh, and every time, you know, Travel Channel will put out new footage on their website. You know, it will also go to other websites like Yahoo, AOL, and stuff like that. So more people started to see the character that, you know, the big cat trucker character. Right. And, uh, and basically how I got over to the cooking channel. Uh, that was an actual t- television show that still comes on now. It still reruns on, on air now. So, yeah, that's basically how I got started. I watched your YouTube channel and I watched, you know, some of the video on the Travel Channel. And it's hilarious, mm-hmm. one. And it's definitely positive. That, but I like the fact that, you know, you talk about things that you wouldn't think would be something kind of funny. I mean, you go into a, a, a restaurant, you go into a stop or you go someplace and you kind of make it your own. Um, how hard it is mm-hmm. to kind of get out there and just kind of start to just kind of get people to interact with you because you're meeting people on the fly, sort of. You know what? That's a great question. You know what? I think, to be quite honest with you, I think that is that is like one of my gifts or one of my the, the talents that I have is because you know my my improvisation or or, or just the ability to just maybe when the when the cameras cut on to just maybe go off of 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 an ideal or just go right into it without a script or anything. You know, my improv skills are, are something that I've developed at a very young age, you know? So I, I really don't know how I do it. It's just like, you know, like I tell people all the time, like the more people involved, the better for me. Like the more people, the better energy I have, I'm more creative. And it just, I, I just cut on. I don't know. I just cut on. Uh, the only time I get nervous is when I have to do something by myself, like, like an interview right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I, it's crazy though it's crazy like the more people that that i have to i i guess you could say you know perform in front of it, the more relaxed i'm it's crazy it's crazy i don't know well you and our it's, old friends now because we talked already before so it's it's not like i'm new right now so it's it's okay right with me. <laughs> right yeah i'm a little nervous right now <laughs> oh no you're still nervous okay <laughs> 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 you know, the funny thing about it, you had that little training because, like you said, Discovery Channel had the show. You had so many shows kind of already done. So that was your practice, mm-hmm. sort of. And it didn't air mm-hmm. really, but that gave you a whole lot of practice for something else. How do you kind of, mm-hmm. that's kind of an obstacle because something was so great kind of went away off right off the bat, but it was really great, but you didn't get a chance to air. How do you kind of get, you know, over that kind of obstacle or that kind of, let down a little bit because that's important because people will still go out there and they get let down on, on things and, you know, things they're going after. How do you kind of get over that? And what do you say to yourself to kind of keep going? Well, you know what? That's, that's a great question because, you know, me being new in the game of entertainment, I had to kind of learn on the fly. I had to watch others and, and, and people that I admire to see how you do this thing because, it was, you know, everything kind of happened, you know, literally overnight for me. You know, it, it kind of just happened overnight. It happened really fast and I didn't really know, you know, like I didn't, I didn't really know, you know, I knew what an agent was, but I didn't know a job of an agent, you know, I didn't really 
you know, understand how important it was to have a relationship and all that, because all that stuff was just kind of thrown at me so fast. So I had to kind of learn on the fly, you know. And when the show got cut or, you know, basically canceled before even airing, you know, the human part of of, of anyone or, or, or myself going through that, you know, yeah, you get a little depressed, but, but you don't let it, you know, if, if it's your passion, if this is something that you really, really want to do, and this is, you know, entertainment, you know, performing is something that I've always done in school with music or plays and stuff like that. So this is this has always been my passion to be able to do, you know, what I love. And that's and that's basically acting the fool. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, so I just had to really just take it day by day and just be like, you know, this is this is not it, you know. So many people say they love me and, and, and this and this, and and that's another thing too, you know. Everybody's gonna tell you everything you want to hear too on the Hollywood side, you know. They're gonna tell you everything that you want to hear to make you feel good, and and some of it you take with a grain of salt, and some of you you take to just fuel your energy to kind of get back out there and and start knocking down doors and start, you know. Uh, I just turned right back to YouTube. That's what I did. I, I went back to where I started. I, I started putting more videos. I let that you know, YouTube be my inspiration. And, you know, I also let it be my punching bag. Like when I was frustrated, I just put up a video, you know, and, and not basically showing my frustration, just put up a video as like, I'm just want to put out a lot more content because you never know this whole scenario, how I got discovered could happen again, you know? So I just want to make sure that I continue to put out fresh content. So, you know, basically you, you just got to now how I prepare myself now, and I know I'm probably all over the place, um, is I go into every situation not really expecting the dream to happen. You know what I mean? Right. It's just like, you know, I, I just, I go in and I, you know, I look at it as another opportunity, you know, because, you know, it could, it could sound great today or everything could be gravy today, but tomorrow you could get a phone call and everything can change. So you can't put all your, you know, your eggs in one basket you know, just on, on, on a one opportunity or someone say, Hey, you know, you're great. We want to put you on the biggest TV show on the biggest network tomorrow, you know, and pay you a bunch of money. You know, that's all sound great right now, but tomorrow they could call and say, Hey, you know what? We found someone else. So that's one of the things that I had to learn in this industry is, is how to deal with rejection and, and, uh, you know, and disappointment because that's part of the game. That's part of the industry is, 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 the, being up on the good news and being down the next day on the bad news. So uh, I think, you know, I guess my advice to anyone out there is, is I think everybody just has to find what it is, you know, that, that what each individual person has to find what it is that will help them. You know, me, I just, I go back to making content, you know, or, you know, some people might, well, I would just want to wallow in and be sad and, and cry and, uh, you know, some people, have, they deal with it that way. But I, me, I just you know, go back to what you love, and that's making content, producing something, you know, that you, that you can still put out there. Because the Internet is free. You know, people can right. just put <laughs> stuff on the Internet at any time, you know. But it, there's a little process, uh, big, more of a process than to get in a TV show. Because there's a lot, that, a lot of stuff behind the scenes that has to happen, and, you know, contracts has to be signed, and there's, you know, money involved, you know. Right. So uh, that's that's basically what I would say. You know, you just got to just go back to what you love. When you get that bad news, just shake it off. and like, all right, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's hustle Get back on the grind or go back to what you love. You know? Wow, that's really great. Now, the Internet, I, I saw something you put out there a while back ago. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. Sometimes mm-hmm. the Internet can be not so nice. You know, there's a lot of um, YouTube sensations out there that are doing really well. And mm-hmm. some people, you know, take it to a different level of thinking that, what they're putting out there is actually who they really are. And I, I right. remember you said something out there that this particular um, YouTube sensation person put something out and it was a comic thing a bit. And people took it uh-huh. as being really serious about something like healthcare or white, uh, the white house. And it wasn't, it was just mm-hmm. a, a bit, a joke part right. of the show. And people kind of went a little kind of crazy on her. And right. happened, one, what do you think about some of the negative things that happen on YouTube because it seems like everyone can be not very nice on YouTube. Some people can be even positive, but there's come negative things out there. And what about some of the other YouTube sensations? What do you think about them? Well, you know what, to, to, to answer your question, um, you know, people are people, you know, you've got your fans and you got your audience and you got the people that love you 
And then you have people that just like stumble across you because maybe a friend or maybe they just saw something on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and they start watching you. And uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna get haters, you know. You're gonna get a lot of people that feel that they should be doing what you're doing, you know, or they can do it better than you or whatever. Um, but they just it hasn't clicked in their head yet that they can basically just turn on the camera and do exactly what you're doing. You know, they don't have to, you know, hate on you or send nasty notes to you. But people do that. You know, we live in the world where, where people, you know, they re- they judge everything. You know, we judge everything that we see now. I guess as far as dealing with it, you know, I mean, we're all human. You know, someone says something to you nasty or, you know, it's, it's obviously it's going to hurt, you know, because, you, you know, you put in our content because you want people to watch. You want people to listen. You want people to, to participate or whatever you're doing. So it's kind of hard to say you're not going to watch that stuff or you're not going to read that stuff because you do. You want to kind of go back and see what people are saying about you to kind of validate what you're doing or if you should change up things, but you definitely got to have thick skin. You're definitely going to have thick skin because if you're on YouTube or doing anything on the internet and you're getting lots of views and you're getting the attention, I mean, you're, you're getting the popularity is is what we call, you're definitely going to get haters. You're definitely going to get haters. The particular incident that you're talking about is because say for instance, my character and her character, you know, like a lot of times when, when you're on YouTube, you want to develop a character. That's what I did. I've developed a character, uh, which is Big Cat Truck. So he's a character. So it's not like I'm that person all the time. You know what I mean? It's just like when, when I turn on the camera, I'm Big Cat. You right. know, when the camera is off, then I'm Rick. You know, I'm, I'm my normal person. And it's kind of like it gives you that opportunity to be someone that you can't be 24-7. So you develop a character just like she did, you know. And um and we're talking and, uh, about the, uh, the, uh, her name is Glozella Green, I believe. Glozell, yeah, Glozell Green. She is a huge, huge internet sensation, YouTube star. She has, I think, over four or five million followers just on YouTube, and uh, she's very funny. Um, and I'm a huge fan of her. And uh, and when I saw that, and when I saw that, because I, you know, I watch a lot of her episodes on YouTube, so I kind of know her personality. Right. I kind of know her intentions and and her her, uh, you know, sarcasm and her jokes and stuff that she does. So when I saw that, you know, people, you know, just like on reality TV, you know, people take stuff like this is the actual world that you live in. Like, this is real. You know what I mean? And they forget, you know, they forget that this is entertainment. It's television. It's, it's meant to entertain you, you know? So I saw some a lot of nasty stuff that they were saying about her. And, uh, but I knew she was just, joking she was doing a improv video to basically uh joke about the issue of health care right. and people were just go- going in on her so yeah that that's going to happen that's definitely going to happen anybody that's going to you know start putting putting yourself out there you know putting the real you you know where people can see your face and your real voice and everything and putting it out there and making content to entertain people you're definitely going to get the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> but uh but I tell you this, if you're not getting that, if you're not getting the hate and you're not getting the bad, then you are doing something wrong. A wise man told me that, you know. So when if you're putting out content and you're getting so much love and, and you know, everybody's loving your stuff and even when you don't think it's good or funny, people are still saying you're hilarious, you know, then that's when you want to worry. But if you but if you're getting both, you're getting the people that's loving you and then you also get the people that just like telling you, you know, man, you're just you know, you're just such a fat guy, like why are you on YouTube or whatever, then you know you're doing something right. Now you know now you <laughs> get in the now you get in the <laughs> you get in the jealous people now, you know? <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's really it's good. A lot of people can take that right. and understand that too because they wanna, you know, get where you are at, you know, and then Right. And they want to know, mm-hmm. like, did it really come that easy? And it didn't really. I mean you you kinda had an idea and you went you kinda just went for it. You weren't doing, you know, travel channel or discovery channel or a cooking channel. I mean, it just kind of just kind of followed you and happened. And it's important that yeah. people keep putting content out there. So right now, what's kind of coming up for you right now? You have some things in the work, possibly? Yes. Right now, I am talking with uh, NBC about doing a new show uh, with the, the co-host, with my co-host that I did the travel channel show with. Uh, we're talking to them about doing a new show on one of their networks. I'm not going to say which network it is yet because... Uh, we haven't gotten to the process, you know, the deals and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to keep that under wraps. Who was the co-host you said? Uh, Marianella. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, the co-host, we, we did uh, road tripping on Travel Channel together. Right, right. So, yeah, we're going to link back up and we're going to do, we're, we're in talks right now with NBC to do some new content for them on one of their networks. That's so fantastic. there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely some, some more, some more stuff in the works. And then, you know, I'm still, I'm still with Travel Channel, still, you know, working with them. And uh, hopefully we'll, we will continue the series that we, the off-road tripping, we will continue that series this year, 2015. So, yeah, so we still got some stuff in the books. Are we going to put some things up because you have your Twitter account, so it's at Big Cat Trucker. Uh-huh. So on the, uh, your site is BigCatTrucker.com. You're on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. You're on the TravelChannel.com. So people can pull up your videos from there. Also on YouTube, you have actual channel on YouTube and Facebook. So people can find you everywhere. So you're, like, you're everywhere. Yeah, yeah every, pretty much everywhere. And all the <laughs> stuff that I've done on Travel Channel or the Cooking Channel, because I, I don't quite know when they're going to be, when they air the, the show all the time, but you can go to the cooking channel dot TV dot com, I believe. And you can catch the shows that, that have been on the cooking channel. All right. Hey, want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. I definitely appreciate everything you've done. I'm going to keep watching you because I think you're hilarious. I just love everything you do so far. So appreciate I'm it. Cross for you to keep doing great. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. 